Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. It is Monday, December the 19th. We have a nine game NBA slate tonight. So let's go ahead and get started. Get the week off with the win. As always, if you enjoy the videos, appreciate the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. We have a good amount of uh, questionable tags on the slate, so we'll probably get a lot of news later in the day. Uh, but for right now, we have the Thunder being shorthanded once again, missing their two best players. So we'll be focusing on that one a little bit. Uh, as always, if you enjoy the videos, appreciate sure the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Point guard picks, you have Luka, he has a questionable tag, but expecting to play. He uh, missed last game, probably just due to rest purposes on a back-to-back. -back. Super expensive, but we have the value in OKC and in the Lakers and probably in some other spots to make it work if you wanted to get up to him. You know, probably won't get to Lillard or Trey Young, especially if Murray's back today, who has a questionable tag. Uh, Van Fleet, 85, still looks pretty good. You know, they're missing OG. They're missing they miss Gary Trent. We'll see if he's back today. Um, so they're a little bit shorthanded with some scoring options. So Van Fleet's really taken over some of these spots recently. LaMelo's been playing better recently. He had a great game last night. Uh, the minutes are back, you know, full strength, 36 last night. Don't Unless he's going to be limited on, like, a back-to-back, -back, which be surprised unless we get some sort of word. And then Fox is... Very affordable at only 83. Uh, you know he's been up and down recently, but good tournament option. He can still give you 50, 60 point upside on his best days. Uh, value picks in the 7K range. CJ McCollum, 74. Still looks good without Ingram. Uh, he's going to shoot a lot, and normally he's probably going to give you over 40. Sometimes if he struggles with a shot, he'll give you under 30. Uh, there are some good value picks here that with some injuries. Uh, like on the Lakers side, Beverly missed yesterday. They're missing uh, Anthony Davis. So Dennis Shooter played t almost 30 minutes, and he's only $3,800. Looks like a very good value pick. He also fouled out in those 30 minutes. Uh, so I don't really mind getting to him. But I'll skip the position for right now. Uh, over at Shooting Guard, Harden is pay up, but I rather like some of the pay ups at some of these other spots, like small forward or even like point guard instead of shooting guard. Uh, Going with the 6K and 7K range options, you know, Vassell looks fine if uh, Keldon Johnson is ruled out. It's currently questionable. Bogdanovich, if still um, they're missing DeJounte Murray. And a lot of guys with a questionable tag here, so we'll keep an eye on that. But one of the better value picks is going to be on the Thunder side. You have Trey Mann at 39. He came off the bench, surprisingly. They started Isaiah Jones in front of him, and they'll probably start Joe again in front of him. He's 4,000. He looks good, too, uh, but we have a guy that's a little bit cheaper in uh, Aaron Wiggins, who's $3,400. Uh, he started, played 21 minutes, but he played pretty well. Uh, wouldn't be surprised if he plays a little bit more if he kind of plays how he did last game, and that's back-to-back -back solid performances out of him. Um, barely above the minimum, and he's shooting guard and small forward eligible. Uh, small forward, LeBron James, 10K. He's going to have to carry the load without Anthony Davis. Uh, price tag is still very cheap on DraftKings, so definitely be a guy you want to get to. Other options uh, would be in the 6K range. and 5K range, you have you know Bogdan, which we talked about. Kyle Anderson still looks decent. Uh, tough game from last night, but Dort looks good. Put him in, in, the, small f in the regular forward spot. Without Giddy and SGA, he's going to get... More usage, more shot attempts, can give you some defensive stats as well. And price tag is super affordable at only $5,500. Moving on to power forward. You have Giannis. You can probably get to both LeBron and Giannis if you wanted to today. He's 12-3. Zion makes for a reasonable pivot. Uh, and then you have position kind of drops off a good amount. 5K range of Anderson, Jabari Smith. Uh, but still, you have Pogaveski, who's $4,300. He hasn't really had a great game yet. They've been keeping him in like 22 or 24 minutes. I know one of these games he left a little bit early. Uh, but they're still going to be without Giddy and SGA. And we know the upside that, you know, Pogaveski can give you. So I think at this price tag, he's still worth, you know, hoping for 40 fantasy points. Now, worst case, maybe taking like 23, 24. You're basically still almost getting uh, 5 to 6 sacks, anyways. And then at the center position, uh, without Davis, you're going to get good minutes and production from Thomas Bryant, who is 50. Actually, on DraftKings, he's still super cheap. He's like in the 4K range. 
It's only forty two hundred dollars. I mean, our DraftKings just doesn't care to raise the price tag on these guys. He's getting you. Th you know, last night he played thirty minutes, thirty three minutes. You know, game before that he played twenty four and a blowout. So what up saw more? He can give you a double double. The minutes are there. The price tag is just not there. So he's going to be one of the best plays on the slate. So that's what I got on DraftKings. Still leaves you with almost 75 for the last few spots or over 75. You can fill it out however you want. But I'm sure we'll get some changes throughout the day. But let's go ahead and take a look at FanDuel. All right, on FanDuel, pretty similar. A point card I want with CJ McCollum was only $7,800. like the price tag. Now you have other guys pricey like Van Fleet, 95. Young is 98. Uh, guys in the 8K range look decent, like Lamelo um, at 8,000, but I like McCollum too. Should be a spot where it's at home. Uh, it's going to be a, a close game, high-scoring game. The Bucks like to play at a fast pace, so I think McCollum gets you 40s or 50s pretty easily today. And then you got the value picks once again with the Thunder guards that are in the 4K range, 42 for Joe and 41 for Trey Mann. Shooting guard is still like Aaron Williams. You know, if he continues to start at the shooting guard position in place of SGA, he's going to get over 20 minutes easily. should hopefully get over 25 if he's playing well, and they decide to give him the minutes, which, why not? He's still a young player. Small forward at Dort, 61. Still a great price tag on both sides. You know, he's cheaper than a lot of other guys. He's going to get a lot of minutes today with the usage. Uh, Bogdanovich, another guy to look at if there is no Murray. And then you have some of these Lakers options. Um, probably don't get, want to get to Reeves at 55, but you have Lonnie Walker a little bit cheaper. At Jay McDaniels, good game last night from him. So you have your fair share of options that are cheap. Power forward, LeBron James, 11-1. You could get to Giannis here instead for 11-6. Um, but LeBron's still going to have to, unless he they decide to hold him out on a back-to-back. -back. I think he might have had a... I'm not sure if he had a scary fall last night, but... He doesn't have a questionable tag or anything, so he should be good to go. But we know the Lakers sometimes will throw a probable tag or throw a questionable tag on these guys throughout the day. But I'm going with LeBron still without Davis against the Suns. And then at center, Thomas Bryant at 58, still a, a good option in the mid-range. Your payup is basically Embiid and Siakam. A lot of other guys with the questionable tags. Uh, and then kind of get a nice cheap price tag on you know, Thomas Bryant. We'll see Nas Reed with the shoulder injury. He was super popular last night, as he should have been. But got hurt, only played 11 minutes. Was on pace to continue to crush, so can't really do anything about that. But that's what I got right now. So far, the Lakers and the Thunder are the best teams to target on the slate. I'm um, sure we'll get some, a handful of other teams that look good throughout the day. But stay tuned for updates on Twitter. I'll post them about an hour before lock. Thank you for watching. Best of luck, and I will catch you all next time.